What is happening, everyone? Welcome to G-Ball Vision. Today, we're taking a really deep dive into this Max Ace Mamba here, coming in SLD Magic Steel. It's some sort of secret proprietary steel. Uh, I guess Hitachi uses it in some of their various equipment and tools and whatnot. Uh, not a lot of information on it that I could find. But what we're going to do today is we are going to take this apart and kind of see if we can tune this up a little bit. So I'm wondering behind this, this secondary inlay here if we have some hidden hardware we're going to see. Uh, one thing I can say about this guy is it has extremely nice micarta. So we have pinned construction there. So I wonder if we have to go at it from the other side. We're going to have to take a look because I am not sure and I'm very curious. And one of the main reasons we are taking this guy apart is because... I want to see if we can kind of tune this up a little bit, clean it up and tune it up a little bit, kind of make it maybe just a little stronger on that flipper tap. Now, I've had varying, yeah, see, there is your screw that you want to get to. So the other side, it will be from the clip side in order to take this guy apart. Uh, let's go ahead and we'll take, it'll be a T8 on that guy, T6 on the inlay, uh, screws there. So T6 and T8 will be all you should need for this guy. And, uh, once you know that you're going through the clip side, uh, it should be a fairly easy and quick disassembly here. Now, I do have breakdown mats and all that stuff, but uh, I decided not to deal with that right now. We'll just kind of wing it, and uh, who knows if I'm even going to upload this video, but I figured I might as well record it for informational purposes. I do like that big pivot there. So, that should get us in. Let me grab, where is it? Let me grab something, something. Uh, where did it go? I should have like a little, there it is. I was gonna say, I should have a little mini pry bar in there. Just a little guy. So probably disengage it would be good. And then, well, yeah, we'll disengage it. I know some people will cringe at this maybe, but this is how I get these apart. Now that should just pop, should anyway, just pop off of there. Unless I'm missing something here. Wait, the back is free. So wait, is this is on top as well? No way. No way. What is going on here? Oh, okay. That's our liner. But we should have. Can we get in behind it here? And then all of a sudden it freaking explodes open. I don't think.
We do have a screw in there, but I think that's just holding on. I think that's just holding the bolster on. It should pop off there. Ooh, dumbass. I think it's coming. Oh, come on. I'm busy doing something. What a pussy. Come on, man. I got shit to do here. You know what, guys? I think you probably got to take this side out, too. I just realized that, that that's told as well. So I bet that is what's holding us up. Somebody's probably at home saying, yo, dude, you got to take the other side off. At least I think. There we go. That should do it now. So that'll be our show side, which is this side with that guy. Ah, there we go. There we go. All right, so we are in like Flynn. So what we're doing is, I well, first and foremost, if you don't like blood or whatever, you might as well just leave because I'm going to keep bleeding. Uh, we're going to clean this up and we're going to attempt to tune this guy up here. There we go. Okay. So what? That comes through like that. And then... This guy is going to sit on both of those like that. <clears throat> okay. So that is, come on, man. Oh, it's over here. Okay. So we don't need that now. That is our lock. No, that isn't our lock side. Everything looks nice and clean in here. And let's see what we got. So, we have some plastic ball cage bearings there, ceramic detent ball. Max Ace does a good job on their knives. I'm not going to take the washers off right now. Uh, I don't think that's really, I don't think it's necessary right now. Uh, I'm not really doing a crazy deep clean on this. I just wanted to make sure, you know, we didn't have anything blood dried in there or anything like that. And then I also wanted to put a little bit of tension on this guy here. And the other thing is Max Ace sent another one with this, a whole new uh, insert. So I'm wondering why. And I thought about changing that out as well. And uh, let's take that off and see what is going on under there. Because now I'm, can we, can we get to it? Yeah, we can. So I'm going to take this inlay off. Hopefully we can get this all back together. Uh, there's a lot of parts here. This is not what I thought it would be at all. So there is our insert screw. That's going to be a T6 as well. And it's not, it is, it's nice and tight. So I was wondering about that. Is it tight? Is it loose? Is, Cause it's, <clears throat> the only reason I bring it up is because it's a little light uh, of a, no, 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 no. It's a little light on the flipper. So, which isn't, it's not a huge deal. Uh, I just wanted to see if we could tune it up just a little bit. And, you know, we're going to come out 
on the other side with it being a little cleaner, a little bit more lubed up, and we might have a little bit better uh, opening action. So we'll kind of see about that. We're going to put just a little bit of inward pressure on this liner here, and that could be the, the change, uh, but also maybe not either. Uh, I have had, I've moved these over with success, and then I have moved these over with no success. So we'll put a little bit on it there. Uh, nothing crazy. You don't want to go, you know, you, you do that kind of at your own risk. Uh, but uh, you should be fine as long as you don't do anything stupid with it. Uh, you know, bending it an inch or something, but uh, you should be fine. So let's put this guy back through here. And is that told for only one way? Boy, this is an interesting knife, guys. Okay, so that will be <clears throat> that way. This is our show side, so that would be this screw here. And let's just get him in place at least. And then that should be, so we did keep all that there. So this should be our internal pin for that. So let's get, I've been using my Benchmade Blue Lube, <clears throat> which I really am a fan of this stuff. Uh, I have tons of KPL, but uh, let's use a little bit of this stuff and just kind of see how this works. I've been a big fan of the Blue, blue Lube for quite a while. Uh, you don't need a bunch of it, just like the KPL, we'll dab a little bit around on our bearings here and kind of see, boy, that's annoying. Uh, let's see what we got there, what we got here, a little bit of blood mixed in with it. No, I'm just kidding. Should be fine. Uh, okay. So, bearing, uh, we should be able to put our blade back on. Hey guys, don't touch the corner <laughs> of, of your knife blade, guys. Not a good idea. Uh, try to keep that hand away. Boy, that's pissing me off, okay. So the question's going to be how can we screw this side back in? Okay. All right. So what was that <clears throat> to? Aw, oh, you pecker. You pecker. So, put that through there. Um, <clears throat> boom. Boom. Okay. I guess I'm going to have to put it in that. No, I can't. It's got to go on this way. All right, buddy. At least this does. <clears throat> Okay, there's that. Uh, 
There is... Boy. So that should stay in there, I think. Nice little titanium backspacer. Boy, I'm about to cut that bitch off. Should be a clean shot through there. There we go. Okay. Let's get this screw. I guess technically the good thing is we don't got to put it all the way back together to, uh, boy, that's pissing me off. We don't got to put it back all the way together to see what the, the function is like of this guy. That should be a T6, isn't it? Or no, wait, where is that holding? Or no, that was the other damn side, wasn't it? So let's get... This guy on. So that should hold us together. Yeah, that'll hold us together. That guy's trying to slip out. And where was that through? I can't remember. It wasn't through there. Boy, that shit don't want to stay together at all. Did that go through? So I kid you guys not, I just spent the last five minutes looking for this, and it was actually in my damn slipper. So, so that has a little ridge. Does that have a little ridge? Because I remember looking at, oh, that's right. This thing, which side does it slide through? So it was this side. So we slide through on this side, and then it was the clip side where we had the screw. So this is how, or no wait. Yeah, okay. So that'll be right. What in the world is going on here, guys? Why is that not going in there? Anyone know? So guys, it's called not being an idiot for a reason, and this is a T8, and a T6 will not 
spin that T8. So if you're ever wondering why your screw won't spin, it's because you probably have the wrong, the wrong driver on it. So I don't remember if that was recessed all the way. I don't think that it was because that's pretty tight there. And yeah, that's pretty tight there. I don't think that it was recessed all the way. We'll wipe that all down in a minute. So we're pretty centered up there. And we'll kind of... So right about there, we're pretty centered, right? Pretty centered. Okay, that's... That's considerably better. Yes. It's still a little light. It's still a little light, but that's considerably better than it was. And I've had a, a Sharp by Design do this same thing. <clears throat> And I'm not going to dick with it anymore tonight. I'll probably <clears throat> take this apart again and mess with it some more. Uh, we'll do that off camera, though. This was a huge, huge disaster, just like most of the disassemblies are, which is why I don't do many of them. They always happen to be a disaster. Uh... Could that be tightened up just a smidge? So we still maintain centered and we got probably... So <clears throat> that's, that's better. I'll probably release this video to my morning crew. And they'll enjoy this long one for the morning. Uh, by the time you guys are seeing this, though, I'll have either figured it out. This is not a, a good knife to <clears throat> flick like this. Uh, it's really smooth, guys. It's It sucks because it's really smooth and... It feels really good to flick this guy. It's just the detent is not. And lockup did not change at all. So it, it feels better, but it's still lacking a little bit. Uh, I don't know if we needed a little bit more blood in there maybe or what. But uh, so we're pretty much cinched down all the way there. It's better. It's better. It's just not, you know, I don't know. Do I have, it's not like I wish, man, that it was like this. Like you can just tell a distinct difference. Right? One, two. You can just, you can hear it. You can see it. You can feel it. Like, this has a substantial thwack, where this is more like, you know, Grandpa <clears throat> fell out of his chair. It's so smooth, though, and, oh, man, that just, that really is a bummer. And that could be just mine, no question about it. Uh, you know, I don't know that. I'll have to see what some other people have to say who have one of these and if you're one of the people watching this that has one let me know uh i would really like to know if they're all kind of just light lighter uh I, I i never understood that though how can you have a one deployment type knife right and it doesn't it's not as satisfying as you would think or that it should be. 
I never really understood that. Whether it's a front flipper, a stud, a cutout, a, a flipper, you know, they should be like this being a flipper only. This should have a hell of a stout detent on it because it's a flipper. Uh, but that's not the way the cookie crumbles. See how that kind of, like this is easily failable. Uh, I have a knife from, well, off grid is a great example. Uh, but even cheaper knives than that. Where is it? Right here. Like this little rhino. 40 bucks. Snappy. Snappy snap. Um, I have another cheap knife here. I got lots of cheap knives here. This Trivisa here. Snappy. You know, maybe not the snappiest snap snap, but pretty snappy. Um, and this has multiple deployment methods. So even if it was like that, that would be nice, but it's just, I don't know. I'm hoping it maybe breaks in and starts to get better, but I just, see, you can tell right there the detent is, yeah, I can just easily flick this guy out without any, out any trying i'm wondering if the the because that was the only extra hardware they sent was a new insert so with the, it has a detent ball everything it's the whole works so i'm wondering if maybe that one's better uh i'll try that off camera and then i'll update the guys who watch this who care and uh We'll see what happens. Maybe that will be the difference I'm looking for, or maybe it'll be just like this. Let me know what you guys think. I do like this knife a lot. I like the size. I like the blade shape. I like that it's in a crazy material. I love everything about this knife. The only thing I don't like is how it doesn't open the way that I want to, that I want it to. You know, if you give it a little bit of wrist, it's good to go. Uh, if you really, you know, give it, give it the gas, it works, but it's just missing that umph that I'm looking for that I wished it had. Uh, let me know what you guys think. I love hearing from you. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button if you made it this far in the video. If you're new to the channel here and you are not subscribed, hit that subscribe button down below the video. I would love to have you here. Otherwise, guys, I will catch you on the next one.